sorry. Do you two really think this is appropriate behaviour for a public place? Charles, good to see you, sis. Why didn't you tell me about this delinquent she's with? Dad, I didn't know. So much for looking out for your sister. Don't get mad at me because you screwed up. You're the one that shipped her off to boarding school in the first place. If this is anyone's fault, it's yours. I didn't want to tell you this over the phone. I left school. Home and away. I'm sorry, but you can't just announce you're not going back to school. I mean, what planet are you living on? Regardless, you're 15 years old and you will finish your HSC. That's non-negotiable. Well, not at that school. I won't be. You've been expelled. What? If I told you, you should have called them first. Look, chill out, OK? I haven't been expelled. Exactly. It's just someone dumped me in for going out with Pat. That's all. That's all. Why am I hearing about this now? Well, the school did try and contact you. Only I didn't even let them know that you were living here. Anyway, they've made allowances because of Mum dying. So they're not formally expelling me, but I'm not allowed back. I don't believe this. How can you sit there and talk about this so calmly? Well, because I wasn't happy there, Dad. I mean, Pat was the only one worth staying for. And I lost my job, so... because of the incident. <laughs> I don't know if I want to know the answer to this, but what exactly was the incident? It was just a kiss. I freak out. Anyway, we only got a warning the first time. The first time? Yeah, well, we were supposed to end it. But then this girl spotted us together again and dogged. And, and it was only a hug. I mean, big deal. Anyway, that's why I had to leave. Um, I might let you guys just chat for a bit and catch up. Why are you doing this to me? Is this some sort of punishment? Dad, she just said she wasn't happy there. See, this is what you get when you neglect your teenage daughter. You could have seen this coming if you weren't so busy running around with Morag. Hey, don't blame it all on him. I know I've made mistakes, but we've been over that ground enough. Perhaps it's time we started looking for some positives here. Good idea, Dad. In fact, this might be the ideal time to start over again as a family. Yeah, and uh, what about him? Is he part of the family now, too? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't watching where I was going. Are you all right? Fine. No harm done. <laughs> um, I, I wouldn't go in there if I was you. And you are? Oh, I'm Pat. I'm, I'm Ruby's boyfriend. Hi, you. I'm Morag. You're Roscoe's new lady. It's great to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you, too. Hi. I'm Ruby. You must be Morag, right? Yes. Oh, no! Oh, it's so lovely to meet you. Um, Dad has just said such wonderful things about you. Has he? Um, it's nice to meet you too, Ruby. I'm <clears throat> so over this. She's turning into a delinquent. Oh, she seems like a very warm-hearted, down-to-earth girl to me. Not friendlier than her sister. Oh, she's friendly, all right. Did you get to talk to young Pat? Yeah, briefly, yeah. Then you can see where I'm coming from. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Well, he's a bit rough around the edges, but there's nothing lacking in his intelligence. He's very open. I liked him. He's the maintenance man at a private girls' school who's abused his position to seduce my daughter. Oh, Greg. Ross. <laughs> he's 17. She's 15. They are teenagers. I don't see anyone taking advantage of anyone here. Mm, perhaps I'm being a bit unreasonable, but I'm worried she's being led up the wrong path. Where's Roman? Oh, good evening, Nicole. He's down at the diner, shifting furniture, I believe. Still? Well, could be worse. I mean, she could be shallow, ill-tempered and headstrong. There's nothing shallow about Ruby, that's for sure. She's a wonderful girl. That's why it breaks my heart seeing her change like this. What are you doing here? Why weren't you at dinner at Lorax's place? You went to a lot of trouble. Did she? And did you give her another big hug to say thank you? Look, the hug was just to catch her off guard. It was all for show. You think I showed you up, is that it? The old good daughter, bad daughter trick. Rubes, you're as angry as I was that Dad moved on so quickly. Yeah, and then I spent some time with him and realised that he's happy. Really happy. Isn't that what's important? Come on, Charles, you said you were going to give Morag a fair go. I know I did, and I, I want to, but... When are you going to stop being so angry with Dad? I've tried, but I can't help it. I just... I feel like he's treating Mum with such disrespect. Come on, Charles, this isn't just about Mum. You've been angry with Dad for as long as I can remember. Maybe he's always let me down. Your dad's never going to let you stay here, you know. He'd be looking for a boarding school as we speak. Then I'll beat him to it. 
I'll enroll myself at Summer Bay High. Oh, cool. I'd have to get a job there as the cleaner then. <laughs> they don't realise it, but they really need me here, Dad and Charlie. I'm the only one who can sort things out between them. So, your dad, he's okay with me, right? Yeah, of course. Really? He just seems to be unimpressed, that's all. Look, there's no way Dad can complain about you when he's asked us to accept more rag. That'd just be hypocritical. And what about your sister? <laughs> Look, don't worry about Charlie. She never knows when to back down. And then there's me. Who just can't get enough of you. I'm not really gonna like living here. Come on, let's go for a swim. Um, excuse me, are you the principal, Mr. Bartlett? That's right. Hi, I'm Ruby Buckton. I'm here to enrol today. Uh, was I aware of this? Uh, no, I've just come to town. I haven't made an appointment. May I ask where your parents are? Normally, a new student would be accompanied by parents or guardian. Um, my dad is Ross Buckton. And if you know him, then maybe you know that my mum just recently passed away. Oh, no. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Sorry. Thank you. Anyway, sadly, Dad's not really in his right mind at the moment, so I thought maybe it'd just be better if I did this whole enrolment thing myself. If that is okay with you. Get your father to call me within the next couple of days just to verify everything. I will. Your locker's over here, next to Nicole Franklin. Nicole. Have you met Ruby Buckton? Yes, unfortunately. Come on, Roscoe. Will you please stop calling me that? She was just doing it so she could be near you and Charlie. Did you know about this? About what? It seems Ruby's taken herself off to Summer Bay High to enrol. Well, are you really so surprised? She said she wanted to stay. And it's going to be cheaper than a private school, right? Considering you're all the reason we're in this mess, I'd suggest you keep your opinions to yourself, Pato. My fault. If it wasn't for you, she wouldn't need a new school now, would she? Look, maybe it was stupid of me to hug Ruby on school grounds after we'd been told to cool it. But she was upset, and I couldn't just stand around and do nothing while she was grieving for her mum. Nobody else was there to comfort her, were they? We're good together. And I've been there when she's really needed me. Where were you? I'm out of here. What? Is he wrong? To you that way. Yeah, well, I said my piece too. Your shot. Are you angry with me? No, but a part of me still wonders if you just brought me here to tick off your dad. No way. All right. Just had to double check. <clears throat> Look, Dad, before you say anything, Pat, tell me what you said. It's all right. Hold your horses. I've had Charlie bellowing at me for weeks. I don't need it from you as well. Well, you need to show Pat some more respect. Well, that's why I'm here. I want to apologise for what I said. I was very much out of line. Can we put it behind us? Yeah, no worries, Roscoe. 